Uzo, it's a fantastic time to watch your amazing new show on Hulu. Yeah. It's called Mrs. America, you guys. It's about the ERA. Our movement is about fighting the oppression of all women. But I actually pulled up the opening credits so I could play it for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. First of all, that must have been a, such a thrill for you to play Shirley Chisholm in this series. What was your reaction when they reached out to you or how did it all come about? Shirley Chisholm tells it like it is. My mom was a huge Shirley Chisholm fan yeah. uh, and supporter. And so, you know, when I told her I got this job, she said to me, my fighting Shirley Chisholm, remembering, you know, one of her slogans. Yeah. And I was so excited about it. Um, and I mean, I knew of her as, from like a kid's eye of who she was. Like, right. Oh, I like her because my mom likes her. Um, but I became really excited because uh, right after I had moved to New York, I had read this book called The African American Century, and it chronicled from 1900 to 1999. And each chapter had someone, you know, remarkable in history. And one chapter was dedicated to Shirley Chisholm. And that's when I really got to understand who this woman was, what a, you know, a badass she was, quite frankly, you know, yeah. and that she was standing up in such a way and doing such a, th a remarkable thing at such an unexpected time. So I was excited, um, scared, yeah. <laughs> but um, ultimately really excited and just wanting to do, do right by her. One of the things that I also thought was so interesting is Phyllis Schlafly. So you need to tell your senators you want them to vote no on this Equal Rights Amendment. I didn't give her full credit for how smart she was. Mm -hmm. um, I saw her as an anti-feminist, but I didn't realize how shrewd she was. Our show creator, Davi, did a really smart and brilliant thing of telling the story through her lens because Firstly, you know, oftentimes history is told, the account is told through the victor and she was the victor, you know, she was the victor. After having won, I think it really begs the question, well, what did you win? What did women, what was advanced or, or successfully achieved through your battle? And I think a lot of, and, and, and what do we owe to you <laughs> in today's climate? Hey, on a lighter note, what are you doing for fun? Well, how are you keeping yourself occupied during this crazy, crazy time? Okay, yes. What am I doing? I am vinoing. Cheers again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, in all seriousness, I have a dog, Fenway. My, I'm from Boston. My dog is named Fenway Bark. There he is. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> yes. Oh, hi, Fenway. Hi. What have you been watching? What have you been reading? Is there anything that, or what have you been listening to? I know you put together a really eclectic playlist. Yes, I've been listening to a lot of music. I was just doing a playlist today, actually. Fenway. I read a while ago, My Sister, Serial Killer. I read two of my castmates have books. You and I as mothers, Laura Prepon, and... Um, oh. My sister. I heard that book by Laura is really good. It's beautiful. I'm not a mom, but it's a great keepsake to have, you know, for when I become one. So let me ask you, Uzo, what are you, what are you excited about doing when this kind of calms down? Uh, what am I most excited about doing? Oh, I know what I'm most excited about doing. I am most excited about going to Cafe Luluk. It is a small, like this amazing, fantastic bistro in Brooklyn over in Burham Hill um, that has, and I'm going to go on record here as having said it, the best pancakes in all of New York City. I said what I said, and I do not regret it. <laughs> I, stand by, I stand by it. If you guys like what you see, subscribe right here.